Good morning, Internet. This is California Dream Eater reporting for Dream Eating Duty in Santa Barbara and Ventura, California. This region was hit hard by historic wildfires and mudslides, but I'm here to report that both beach towns are open for business. Speaking of, I've got a breakfast sighting at 10 o'clock. Coming in hot, Charlie Delta Echo, over and out. I'm about to have the most important meal of the day. I'm at Love Petit Cafe right on Ventura Harbor. Ooh! The brunch rule is if you can't decide between sweet and savory, you just get both. That's why I got Crab Cakes Benedict and the Crips. It's delicious. It's creamy. That is the best way to start a day. Let's go have lunch. I'm on a mission to check out the San Buenaventura Mission. It's lunchtime at the Jolly Oyster on San Buenaventura State Beach, and I'm gonna order some food, like you do. I just love these guys, super sustainable. I mean, these oysters were plucked from the sea yesterday. All right, before you throw it though, you have to make a wish. More food. Let's head out. I'm from California, so obviously I'm super good at surfing, so I'm gonna go ahead and teach you. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, now I'm ready. I'm here at Fluid State, Ventura's local beer garden. It's a great place to post up, play some games, snack on some pizza, and have some incredible beers. Well, I'm refreshed. Time to hop on out of here. Imagine a world where pizza and mac and cheese are one, and that world exists. Paradise Pantry? Well, that was delicious. Now it's time for something sweet, and I know just the place. McConnell started in Santa Barbara, and it's been a SoCal favorite for over 70 years. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, I think I need to try your strawberry. I'm gonna hook you up with a couple more. Hey. Whoa! Homemade ice cream. Hey. I could tell you the best way to travel up the California coast, or I could just show you. All aboard for Santa Barbara. Here are a few things you can do on a train because you aren't driving. Lunches. Adult beverages. Snack car. Ah. <laughs> and boom, Santa Barbara. Yurt! Rise and shine. Good morning from Santa Barbara. I'm about to have breakfast at Crush Cakes and Cafe, and I'm flipping out because I love pancakes, and pancakes love me. Let's go explore. I'm at Moxie, the Wolf Museum of Exploration and Innovation, and I can't think of a funner way to spend a day in Santa Barbara. I'd love to stay here all day. It's time for lunch. It's taco time at Taqueria Cuernavaca, so I'm gonna need to order all the tacos. Well, all six were absolutely delicious, really fresh, simple, and packed with flavor. Well, that was great lunch. Let's go to the funk zone. So tell me about the Funk Zone. The Funk Zone is yeah. a really cool part of Santa Barbara. Lots of new restaurants, always busy. You can come down here anytime, day or night. There are always people around. Great spirits, great beer, great wine. We really never have to leave the Funk Zone. Wow, speaking of funky, what's going on with this wine bottle? They're fun, they're different. Who doesn't like a little glitter with their wine? Can I make one? Sure. I'm at Yoichi's for four courses of traditional Japanese kaisiki cuisine. Now, I would call it dinner, but it's so much more. This isn't a meal. This is art you can eat. From the food, to the service, to the presentation, it's an experience I'll never forget. 
dinner or dessert, you can't go wrong at Bouchon. But since this is my last stop, I'm gonna go out with a blaze of glory. There is a layer of strawberry lemon cake on the bottom. Then there's a scoop of McConnell's ice cream, which is my new favorite ice cream. And of course, some fresh strawberries on the side. This is the cherry on top of an epic road trip. We came, we ate, we laughed, we cried. Well, I cried when I tried to surf, even though I was super good at it. Anyways, thank you for joining me for the ride and thank you to Santa Barbara and Ventura for having me. This one's for you. Cheers. Yum, yum.